All right, good morning everybody. Pete and Fold, build video 22. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. Uh, wings are well underway being covered. A wing, I should say. So first of all, here's where we sort of finished off with the uh, fiberglass cowling. I took a break from it. It was about a month's worth of work. I got sick and tired of working in the fiberglass. But yeah, it uh, actually it's a, it needs a lot more finishing, a lot more work, but it's a start. The modeled sort of colors because of there's Bondo under there and some fiberglass. A little perforation here needs to be repaired. It's still kind of flimsy, so I need to, uh, of course, stiffen that up, but it's it's a start. So we're going to take a break and go do some wing covering. They're just kind of clicoed in place for now, and we'll get back on that. So what we've been doing the last several weeks is here's the wings. Okay, So this is the wing number one, and the other wing is over there on the back wall. And so here's some of the stuff that you use in wing covering. This is a 3M Fast Bond. Um, you don't need to spend the, buy the expensive stuff from aircraft spruce. It's basically contact cement. It's high performance. This neutral 30, and the thing that I like about this is that it's clear. Whereas usually when you do a Stewart system, it's, there's green. It's the green fabric, which is fine. It's the same stuff, but it takes you know two or three layers of primer to cover that before paint. More primers, more weight, more work. And this stuff I've used on the Afforda plane, I'm using it here, it works fantastic. Here's this rib stitching stuff. So when I started this plane, a couple of things I wanted to learn. I'd never built an airplane in wood before, so that was kind of interesting, learning how to, to uh, the, the skills that go into making a wood airplane. I wasn't a great welder, so I learned a little bit of, of, you know, of welding to get some of the steel parts in place. And I never rib stitched before, so it's my first attempt doing it. This is a needle that you use. It's kind of a curved, funky thing that you use. This is the rib stitching lace. This is the flat stuff. Honestly, next time I do it, if I ever do it again, um, will be the, uh, rather the round lacing. It's a little bit easier. This lays flat nice, but if it comes out kind of rolled and kinked, that's take extra time to get it flat. And when you'll see how many you gotta put in here, any extra steps are just, you know, too much extra work. This is my homemade instrument to poke holes in the fabric. I use this. And also a soldering iron here with a soldering iron tip. Oops, sorry about that. I use this tip to burn holes in the fabric. And you'll see why in just a second. And of course you need lots of brushes, this stuff here. So go to the aviation aisle at Home Depot, stock up on stuff because you use a lot of it. Here are the finish tapes, the finishing edge. You're going to see this is a two inch. And this is a three inch, and I'll show you what that's all about. So before this video gets too long, here's what we got. Okay, so we basically it's a blanket method. So you put one fabric over here, glue it down, shrink it, flip it over, glue the periphery again, shrink it, uh, and then start poking holes. So here is, these are the rib stitching. So there's, you know, it's every three inches or so, avoiding the main spar here. You have to, and then you basically take the stitch and you start here, and you go down, around, bring it back up, knot it off, feed it to the next hole, down, around, up, tie it off, go to the next one. So it's a big, long, continuous piece of thread that ties all of these. So it took me like, I think two hours to do like four of these, something like that when I first started. By the end, I could do all 18 in about 45 minutes. So it takes about 45 minutes to do all these from one end of the leading edge to the trailing edge. So, and then when you're done, you cover it with the finish tape, the two inch tape I showed you there. And then at the end, you take a three inch tape on the wings and, and cover it down around here. Kind of looks like over here, I'll show you here. So this is the vertical fin that's done, pretty much ready for final shrinking and paint. It has two inch tape covering the rib stitching and a three inch tape on the edges all the way around the edges. And it's gluey, it's tacky, it's kind of stickyish stuff. But once you hit it with the primer, uh, it works good. So here's the horizontal that hasn't been, it needs the finish tapes here. Finish tape two inch here, three inch on the ends, and then final shrink and then paint. And of course we have the other elevators and rudders over here that need to be done as well. So. And when that's all done, then we'll start painting and then we'll get back on with this guy, waiting for the manuals for the firewall forward. 
from William. William, if you're watching this video, which I know you're not, send me the manuals, please. I've asked you like six times. I need to get the manuals for the firewall board, and of course, we'll start diving into this. So there's where we'll be for the next month or so. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty good, you know, one step at a time. So I just thought I'd give you guys an update today. And I'll upload some different videos, I have a couple of them um, saved. So.